Hey everyone, and welcome back. A little bit of a more chill video. Uh, Kuntis, Q-U-N-T-I-S, has sent me these uh, solar lights that you may have seen in a recent mailbag video. And I figured we would uh, take a look at them and uh, tear them down and see what's up. So the package comes with uh, four of these. And you know they're really not that expensive. Also, um, if you assume that your solar lights are going to look something like this, uh, I think you may be a little bit fooled because the you know the camera's brightness is always exaggerated on those photos. Um, these things are just a little LED, and we're going to check them out you know when we open this up. Um, so there's nothing to be surprised about. Um, but this thing looks uh, fairly good. So let's see here. We got uh, 90 mils by 50 mils looks about accurate um, 3200k um, color which means it's a little bit of a warmer white and they got an on off switch in the back and I don't know if you can see the little LED in there I'll try to make it so the phosphor is yellow there you can see the yellow phosphor if I had that it turns on so it's just a single light so it's not much light and it, it gives off this sort of uh, pattern I don't know if you can see it on the desk there um, but I will turn off the lights later on so we can see. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear these down and uh, take a look at what it looks like on the inside. So there seems to be a number one Phillips or two number one Phillips on the back here. Um, they have a little rubber cover for the switch for waterproofing, but if this unit around here is not waterproofed, that'll be a waste. And actually, I think. It is waterproof because you can see there's like an o-ring there that black let's see here um, now they didn't tell me I had to say anything about these they just said we'll send them to you and do a review but I don't really do reviews of things until I've used them quite a bit and so because of that we're doing a teardown instead Wow this is uh, extremely simple here let me see. So the battery is slotted. It's a 600 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride. And let's see if we can just push this whole thing out. I don't know if it's glued in. It looks like the switch might be pushed in there. I do want to remove this. I'm afraid it might be glued in. The um, solar cell is definitely glued in, which kind of makes sense. I have silicone all over the hole here so that water doesn't get in. So that's good in a way. But I want this board. Ah, there we go. It is not glued in, just pushed in. Okay. Um, I guess I'll have to zoom you in so we can take a better look at this. First things first, our little 600 milliamp hour battery here. Uh, is just charged through virtue of the solar cell through this Schottky diode. So uh, on the positive side here, the solar cell can charge the battery, but the battery cannot uh, dump current back into the solar cell, which is really important. Um, and then we've got an on-off switch here. Uh, all that does is switch on and off the functionality. And then we have um, what I thought I saw through the glass was a... Um, uh, uh, LDR, but really this is an inductor, and then we've got this little chip. Uh, 5WLE is what this chip mar is marked with, and I can't find that anywhere. Uh, no data sheets anywhere, but I'm sure it's just like those uh, X5252 uh, type things just in SMD, and all it does is it pulses the battery voltage through this uh, 101 um, uh, inductor here, just to get the voltage high enough to light the LED. That's it, that's all. Uh, and then it would use, of course, the um, actual solar cell here to detect day and night. So it's a very simple device. I mean, really, it's got one, two, three, four, five components plus a solar cell plus the battery, um, but they put it in this waterproof housing and the waterproofness will have to wait until a future test because I haven't put these outside yet. So once it's been outside for, you know, a few months, then I'll bring you back for that. But for now, 
that's it. I just wanted to see how these things are made. And the, I think the good part is that they look like they're made to be taken apart and put back together because there's this uh, nice o-ring seal instead of like some sort of silicone seal. Not much of a video, but um, I like it. Thanks for watching.